Many things are breakable, many things are unbreakable. Some things are so hideous they ought to be broken. Some are so sacred they should never be broken. A promise is one of these. Above all, a promise to a child. Tonight, then, The Pledge, starring Dewey Martin and Mona Freeman. There are degrees of happiness. And under normal circumstances, a young married couple expecting their first baby should be the happiest people alive. The McAllens in our story should be among these. But unfortunately, there's a cloud in their sky. A cloud in the shape of a transatlantic plane landing with an unexpected cargo. Time for breakfast this morning. I'll have to grab a fast something at the station. Boy, one of these days I'm going to stop fixing breakfast. I always end up eating both of them. Well, you should. You don't want to starve our child, do you? <laughs> I think we could both stay on a diet. Don't you dare. I love you both just as you are. Mm. I get your handkerchief. I'm going to go out on that construction job today, but the office will know where I am. If anything starts to happen, you phone me right away, you hear? Yeah, I will. Here you are. Ah, you look beautiful. Say, you know, I really ought to write, Johnny. I've been meaning to for weeks, but I just never seem to get around to it. I bet he's wondering what's happening. I gotta run. I'll walk you to the door. I think I'll call the lawyer today and check on how the papers are going. All that time and red tape to get a kid into the country to a home and family that's just waiting for him. Wes, hmm? couldn't you hold off for a while? What? We're all about calling the lawyer. Hold off? Well, it, it, it's dragged on for so long now. I don't see what the rush is. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it rushing after two years. I know, but right now when we're expecting this baby... Oh, couldn't we wait until afterwards? You think it might be too much to handle? Two new arrivals at the same time? Well, yes. That's a point. After all this time, a few more weeks wouldn't... Wouldn't make too much difference, would it? Probably take that long for his papers to go through anyway. Right. Speak English? Oui? I mean, uh, yes, sir. Oh. What's your name? Jean-Marc Prelet. How old is he? Ten years. A little young to be a stowaway, isn't it? Are you, uh... You get bored with North Africa and decide to come to see the United States? Oh, no, monsieur. I come to see Vess, uh, mon père. Your father? Oui. When I meet Vess, he is engineer building air base. My mother and father are dead. I run errands for Vess. I like Vess. He likes me. Hmm? Then when it came time for him to go home to States, he wanted to take me with him. Mm. But they say he cannot until he become my father. Uh, how do you say, a la loi? Illegally, by adoption. Oui. Did he? Yes, but he writes me he's having a hard time uh, because he's a bachelor. Then he writes me he's getting married and it will go much faster now because his wife wants me for a son too. Mm. But then time goes by and, and Vess does not write to me. So I think maybe something is wrong. He is sick. I forgot about his promise. Oh, no, monsieur. Vess does not forget. Never. I am his son. He told me. You see this ring? Mm -hmm. It was the ring of his father. And before he went away, Vess gave it to me as his son. I think we should get in touch with him. And what's his name, son? Wesley McGowan. Right. Do you know where he lives? We, oui. 127 Linden Road, uh -huh. East Orange, New Jersey. Yeah. 
Hello? No, I'm sorry he's not. No, this is Mrs. McGowan. My name is Kennedy, immigration officer, New York International Airport. We have a child here who has just arrived from French North Africa. His name is Jean-Marc Brule. You say he's here? What's he doing here? He stowed away. But the boy tells me that you and your husband have applied for permission to adopt and bring him over. So I'll put a check in on your application papers to see if they've been recommended for approval. Which would mean they should go through in a very short time. And if that's the case, rather than send the boy back, we could let him stay here in your custody. No, we don't want him. We don't want him. <laughs> They do not want me. That's what she said. But Vess, he wants me. Sorry, boy. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Hello? Wes, uh, uh, Mr. Kennedy from the immigration office called. Jean-Marc is here. Yes, New York International Airport. Oh, and listen, West. Take it easy, honey. I'll go right over there. Relax. I'll find out what it's all about. Bye bye. Did you check Russian? Yeah, teletype just came in. McAllen's application papers have been approved for processing. Isn't that great? My boy, they can have you now. They want you. Pardon me, Mr. Kennedy? Yes! Johnny! Oh, Johnny. Look how you've grown. Yes. Oh, it's Johnny. I knew you wanted me. <laughs> wanted you? Of course I wanted you. What made you think I didn't want you? I haven't been able to write to you because well, I've been so busy, you know. New house and Sandra and a new job. Oh, I got so many things to show you. Now that you're here, everything's going to be just fine, Johnny. You're going home with me. We. Uh, that's all right, isn't it? I mean, uh, what's the procedure? We we have uh, adoption papers filed. There's just one hitch, Mr. McAllen. What's that? I spoke to your wife this morning. Yes, I know. She phoned me. That's why I'm here. She told me you didn't want the boy. She what? That's what she said. Or at least that's what I understood. What she meant, I'm, I'm sure, because we discussed it only this morning. We have a new baby that's going to arrive, and it would be a little more convenient if... Oh, but now that Johnny's here, there's absolutely no question about our wanting him. You can have the boy for 24 hours, temporary custody. But you must understand that unless we have the assurance that both parents want the child... Everything's going to be fine, I tell you. Why, when she see this good-looking young man, everything will be just fine. You wait and see. Just fine. Andre, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Well, here we are, Johnny. Home at last. Yes. Sandra! Now, you just take it easy. She's going to love you just as much as I do. Huh? Sandra? Did I wake you, honey? Hello, darling. I'm sorry. Mm. Hey, have I got a surprise for you? Oh, I just lay down for a few minutes and went sound asleep. What did you see the boy? Yeah. Mr. Kennedy said the papers have finally been approved. Isn't that wonderful? Did he tell you what I said? Yes. Oh, Wes, I'm sorry. I didn't think. The words just came out of me without thinking. The whole thing's been such a shock to me, even though we were talking about it just this morning. I guess I shouldn't have put it so brutally, huh? No, you shouldn't have. Oh, Wes, I... I'm so ashamed. That I've been thinking about this moment for such a long, long time, but... I don't know, when it came, I... I just couldn't bring myself to say yes. Why? Because you love that child. As if he were your own, and he's not. Well, I believe you're jealous. All right, I am jealous. Yes, I'm, I'm jealous for my child and yours. I don't want our child to share you with some stranger. 
Johnny's no stranger. Well, he used to me. I don't even know him. He's not mine or yours. Well, he will be. We agreed to adopt him. I gave my word. Well, I broke your word. I sent him back. No, you didn't. He's here. He's here in this house? Yes. No, I don't want to see him. Sandra, you, you mustn't. I gave my word. Well, you'll have to break your word. I don't want to see what that. What are you Sandra, afraid of? What are you afraid of? That you, that you might like him? Yes. I don't know what I'm afraid of. I know how you feel right now. There's no reason to be jealous of Johnny. But I am. I, I just can't help it. He'll never come between us. And he'll never come between us and the baby. He's just one more person to love. And when you see him, you will. Let me bring him in here to you. All I ask is you see him. And... All right. Johnny! Johnny! All right? Absolutely perfect. With all the standard equipment right according to specifications. Uh, when can I see my wife? Oh, don't worry about her. She's fine. It'll be a little while before you can see her. So uh, why don't you go downstairs and get yourself a cup of coffee? You look as if you had a harder time than she did. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Most fathers do. <laughs> Well, Mrs. McAllen, I'll bet you were wondering when you were going to get to see your baby. Here he is. What are you talking about? We brought your child. I have no child. 
My child was born dead. Mrs. McGowan, whatever gave you such an idea? You can see for yourself. That's not my baby. My baby is dead. I speak with that sergeant in the juvenile division, please? Mr. McAllen, the doctor wants to see you. He's in your wife's room. Just a minute. Right away, please. I know my child is dead. I heard the doctor say so. But you imagined it. Honey, you couldn't possibly have heard him. You were unconscious. I didn't imagine it. I was perfectly conscious and I heard him clearly. The child is dead. He's not dead. You've seen him. You can see him again. I don't want to see him. He's not my child. Whose child do you think he is? I don't know, and I don't care. He's not mine. Honey, do you think I'm lying to you? Do you think we're all lying to you? Yes, I do. Why, sir? Why would we lie to you? Johnny, I wouldn't have it. So I couldn't have my own baby. I was being punished, don't you understand? I was being punished. I was being punished. Wes. Yes. It's a traumatic delusion arising from postnatal shock and her feelings of guilt over having rejected this other child. What can I do? There's nothing much you can do right now except be patient. Patient and loving. But she won't see our child. Our own child. No, she won't. Not till she's persuaded it's her own. When will that be? Maybe soon, after treatment. Maybe never. do you good to get away from here for a little while. Why don't you? She'll be asleep now for several hours. Uh, what did you say? I said, there's a call for you, Mr. McGowan. You can take it in the waiting room. Thank you, nurse. Hello, uh, this is Mr. McGowan. You have a call for me? Hello? This is Kennedy. The police found the boy. Is he all right? Yeah, he's all right. Go, down, go right over to the station and pick him up. He's not there. He's in my office. He's in your office? Why? Because the boy wanted it that way. All right, I'll be right over. Johnny. I don't blame you after what you heard. But if you'd just give me a chance to try to work things out. I do not want to stay there. I'm not wanted. Oh, don't say that. It's true, is it not? Kid's right. Both parents must agree to adopt a child. What time does this plane leave? 12 midnight. Four hours. You want to spend the time with him? It's a nice restaurant here. You'd buy him dinner. I'm not hungry. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do in the four hours? Just be time. Johnny, how would you like to go to the hospital with me and see the baby before you leave? I mean, uh, if that's all right with you. You're guaranteed to get him back on time. If the boy wants to. What about it, Johnny? We. Oui. 
I would like to see your son. Which one, Des? Which one? Which one do you think? Mr. McAllen, will you come with me, please? Dr. Arthur would like to see you again. Wait for me, Johnny. Miss McAllen? I am Jean Marc. Johnny. I am going back to Algerie tonight. But before I go, I wish to give you something for your son. This does not belong to me. It belongs to the son of S, your son. My son is dead. Oh, no, madame. I just saw him. He cried when he looked at me. He cried? Oh, no. You're lying to me like all the rest. Lying? Why should I lie? I don't know. Why should you lie to me? You have no reason to be concerned with me, to protect me. After what I did to you, you must hate me. I do not hate you, madame. But you must. Truly, I do not. Well, let's just say that you don't like me, do you? No. I don't blame you. I don't like myself. I must go. Here. Johnny. Would you do me a favor? Me? If my baby is still crying. Would you ask the nurse to bring him to me? Maybe between the two of us, we can make him smile. Me, madame? Not madame. You have another word for it, Johnny. Mama? Four Star Production.